Good morning, everyone. So today we're gonna do a vlog. As you can see, Melanie's here from school. She's spending the summer with us. Well, I'm very happy about that because I feel like I spend so much more time with Milena. For obvious reason, Melanie, when she's in school, she's an hour from here and uh, she doesn't come every weekend. So I'm very excited about that. Melanie is training for a marathon to raise awareness for sex trafficking with her church and I'm so proud of her and that uh, she's been training so hard and I haven't stretched at all so we're gonna yeah. stretch today yeah today is her rest day for running right so we're gonna yeah. do the stretch instead of and she wasn't feeling so well we also we start we start this habit of praying together um, you know just like we just sit down and just let the Holy Spirit guide us and what to pray and to whom to pray. To pray. I love it. We have been doing this. Yeah, it's powerful. Yeah, it's very sure. powerful. And then just hang out. You know? It's just a summer. day in the life. Yeah, because I'm clean. Yeah. Look how much I can. This is the max I can go. No, I'm saying like bending up. Uh. Okay. Hi. We're gonna make brownies. Yeah. But we don't have any of the stuff. So we're gonna go get the stuff. That's a very good that brownie is a sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, delicious brownie. Taste-free. No, it's not taste-free. I'm scared. I think it's actually, <laughs> They taste good. No, it tastes good and it's healthy because there's nuts, there's dates. So uh, it's perfect to have in the fridge when you need a little sweet once in a while. Um, so, but of course we don't have the ingredients. I mean, we have some of it, not most of it. So we're gonna. I go worked out my arms for the first time in a long time yesterday, and holding up this camera hurts <laughs> so much. <laughs> yes. But yeah, stay tuned for the ingredients because if you need a little healthy brownie, sweet tooth, no bake, no bake brownies. Yeah. No baking. It's you just mix. Yeah. And eat. It's just so amazing. stay tuned. Does anybody else hate going to the grocery shop in the summertime because it's so cold and you're used to the warmth outside and it's like the AC inside it's like is like two completely different temperatures. It's, it's like it's very unpleasant. What do we got? We got some nuts, dates. This is my new sugar. When you get dates, make sure they're whole and not pitted. Yeah. Because makes if all you the get difference. them pitted, they're gonna be dry. Yeah. And we don't like that. Yeah. Got some vanilla. Uh, Melanie got this bananas. Here. Oh yeah, bananas. This seems interesting, man. Yeah, I I saw this. Maybe. And I wanna try it. It's just vegetables and there's um, some yakisoba noodles. And, and ginger sauce. soy, and then there's one with teriyaki sauce, so we'll see that. Interesting. And then every time we come here to try to get some simple meals, they're always sold out, but I found these brownie ones, and maybe I'll make these while you make your brownies, because I like these ones better. <laughs> I'm kind of taking over this vlog, but it's fine. <laughs> Well, before we make brownies, we have to eat lunch because that's what we have to do. Um, let me try this. I don't usually ever get prepackaged meals, but that looks good. I don't know. I feel like it could be good. What are you making for so, lunch? I think I'm gonna make tuna. Just make canned some, tuna. Yeah, canned tuna with some crackers. It's like kind of hot. It's, like, it's real hot. Yeah, it's a little salad. How beautiful. 
I'm sure you guys don't care too much about my um, packaged meal journey, but I'm going to inform you anyways. We so, it comes with some veggies, so I'm just sauteing them first. I added, we do care. No, no. I add a little bit of sesame oil because sesame oil makes everything better. So I'm going to saute it for a little bit, and then it comes with yakisoba. That I'm going to put in the microwave for a little bit and then add this, and then ginger soy sauce. I'm going to hire Nene to be my vlogger. Okay, so I decided that I'm not going to have tuna. We made salmon this week. So this is um, grilled salmon. I'm going to make some black beans salad. And to this, I'm going to add some avocado. And I have some pineapple here. A little bit of olive oil, maybe some vinegar or lime, salt. Perfect. Looks like a fruit salad, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. This is the grilled salmon and the bean, <laughs> tomato, avocado, and pineapple with a little bit of olive oil, vinegar, and salt. And that's Nene's. Look how good this looks. Good job, man. Stuff up. I know, but it looks very oh. good. Okay, final taste test. I come from a family of food critics. That's why I'm so picky. But we'll see. I don't know if we know anything, but we're we are very critical, right? Yeah. You're good. It's prepackaged Meyer food. Well, but, but it's, it's good. veggies. You got the veggies, which is not frozen. I mean, it's just the sauce that. Pretty good. I would recommend. I would recommend. Okay. We're gonna do this stupid little challenge with Bella. <laughs> <laughs> we have too much time in our hands. <laughs> because we wanna see what she's gonna do. We're both gonna stand in the middle of the road and she's run. Yeah, away from each other and see who she follows and who she loves more. <laughs> it's gonna be very hard for her because she sleeps with her and I feed her. So, she loves both of us. All right, go get her. Okay. I think she just wanna go to that side. <laughs> There's nothing to do with us. <laughs> I think she's just sprinting because she know. just she just loves running and being a spaz. So, <laughs> but we have one more challenge we want to try. Yes, let's go inside. Okay. Stupid challenge the... number two. <laughs> for this one, we're gonna play with her. With her, we're gonna be playing like crazy. <laughs> then we're gonna throw the the toy which she loves, and she'll come running back with the toy. But we're gonna be laying there covered. We're gonna see her reaction. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Poor thing! Look okay, how cute she is. Let me show I her. think you should sit down already. She's cute. Is that the cute? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Good girls, Bella. Gosh. Okay, you let go now.
Okay, let's make the brownies. I love this brownies because after I found out about all my allergies, um, this recipe doesn't go in eggs or milk or gluten. Okay, so on the food processor over here, I have 10 pitted um, dates. Then to this, I'm gonna add a little bit over a cup of pecans, a little bit over a cup of walnuts, some almond butter, one fourth of a cup of cacao, then two tablespoons of maple syrup, then one tablespoon of vanilla. Oh, I forgot something. Almost forgot. Two tablespoons of coconut oil. We're just gonna process everything, and then what I like to do, I put in a little Pyrex, um, cover and put in the fridge, and then um, gets a little bit colder and a little bit hotter, so you can cut it just like a brownie, and it's so delicious. It's perfect for that, you know, afternoon snack or midnight snack. There's only great, good for you ingredients, so it won't upset your stomach, and you're still gonna have your sugary kind of, you know, fix. I like to start with one tablespoon of real maple syrup and then um, at the end you'll see I'll put one more. So let's start with one. And I also like to start with one tablespoon of coconut oil. And then when I processed, I see if you need a little bit more liquid, I just add more. So let me show you how it looks right now. See that it needs a little bit more liquid so we can, you know, come together more evenly. So this is when I'm going to add the more coconut oil and a little bit more of the maple syrup. See, like now, how it's more like stick together, so we need those two liquids. So I just like to get a little Pyrex like this. Just pack everything. Okay, so here it is. Now I'm just gonna leave in the fridge. It gets a little bit hotter and it's gonna be a little bit easier. Here's to mine. Wow, Nene. What do you, oh, you put peanut butter on yours? Yeah, and I'm gonna put some sea salt on top when it comes out. It looks good. I like it. Good job. So, um, so it will become a little bit harder. It will be easier for, for, you know, for me to cut it and eat it. And uh, just leave it in the fridge. And each and every day I'll get a little piece here and there in the afternoon or midnight night snack. It's so perfect. Okay, so Nene, she's gonna do a treatment in her hair. What is a keratin treatment? What is it? It's a straightening treatment. I did it last year. Oh my gosh. It's a Brazil. <laughs> okay, so I think you guys have asked my sister about this, but me and her last year did this like straightening treatment with this. Um, my hair my whole life has literally been like ringlets. And this like is mine. It. It's like kind of like mine. No, it's like ringlets. This is it dried naturally after a year of doing the treatment. Right after I did it, well, I did it twice in a row. I did it once, and then like three days later, did it again. But my hair was literally straight for a whole year. <laughs> a year. I did this a year ago, and I'm just now doing it again because it's like it's getting a little rough. But she'll link it down below. But it's um. It's is huge. This bottle's gonna last me my whole life. But basically, the steps are: I'm about to wash my hair with a clarifying shampoo. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have a clarifying shampoo, use um, apple cider vinegar and baking soda to just like take out any buildup from your hair. After you've washed your hair completely, no shamp no conditioner, just clarifying shampoo to like strip it. Towel dry, and then put this on your hair make sure it's like 
completely soaked, let it foam up a little bit. Um, make sure you so get it So it's like a good. mask, it's like a mask, right? No, it's gonna foam up like a shampoo, but just leave it in your hair. Your hair is gonna be a little bit wet because you're just supposed to towel dry it before mm -hmm. you put it in. But put this shampoo in your hair, not in the shower, just like out of the shower, like section your hair and put even parts to each section of your hair. Leave it in, it says 20 minutes, but I'm gonna leave it in for like 45 minutes to an hour. And then go in the shower. Wash it off. Or rinse, or do it in the sink. Rinse out everything. Don't reapply shampoo and conditioner, just rinse this out. And then blow dry your hair completely or just dry it completely. And then this is the part that like actually activates it. You have to section it in pieces literally like this big and go over each piece seven to eight times with your straightener on like the hottest setting that is possible because that heat is what actually acts in the seal and like seals it into your hair and then after that your hair is going to be pin straight mm -hmm. and then you don't wash for a while though i mean you can i would wait like two or three days before you wash it again and yeah but this thing was like i think we got it on sale for like 60 but usually it's like 150. Yeah, but it's like this but huge bottle. This is gonna last your whole life and it strains your hair for an entire year. It takes away every sort of frizz. The one thing though is that it makes your hair a little greasy. So I think mm. when I redo it, I'm not gonna straighten right up to my root. I'm gonna straighten like here and down because I don't want to seal the product like right up to my root because it's literally taken me like six months to be able to get to wash my hair once a week again. I used to have to wash it like Every two days, three days, yeah, right? Which is a pain because it was uh, so greasy from this product. Yeah, they, Milena and her, they really wanted me to do that, but I'm just so afraid that if I do that, my hair is, I'm gonna lose more hair than I want to. And, uh, you know, since I'm trying to go natural, you know, not dying or anything, it makes no sense for me to put that because I'm, I, you know, I have to think there's something there that is. Something yeah, strong. Yeah, strains your hair. It's hydraulic acid. Oh, high no hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic. But yeah, curly hair girls. Since it's summertime and we're gonna be here, it's it's just so much. Like this, literally, other than Jesus, of course, like changed my life. Because my hair, like curly head girls, you know that like you don't know when you're gonna have a good hair day. Yeah. And it happens maybe once every two months. Yeah. So. I think like if you have a healthy hair. And uh, like a young, healthy hair, why not? Also keep in you mind, know? I have been dyeing my hair black for eight years. Um, when I do this, it's gonna like strip off a lot of my black hair dye. So, mm -hmm. so I'm probably gonna have to re-dye it next week. But yeah. it's so worth it. If you're debating it, just do it. Mine only lasted a year because I did it once. And I didn't like how it wasn't as straight, so I did it again like three days later. That's why it's like, it lasted, it for, lasted for so long. But I think this time I'm only gonna have to do it once. No, do it just once, man. I think, you know, two times But it like, takes away, you will, like I haven't had, I don't remember, like the last time I had frizz was before I had this. Yeah. Her hair, I mean, she just washes and leave it. Yeah, I don't have do to do Do you have to dry or blow dry your hair every time you wash or no? No, to I, I, only, I only, I only, no. I only blow dry my hair if I want to like do it, but most of the time I just it's just like this it beachy wave. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Like, okay, so yeah, I'll put on my description box um, the link or it's the like name. This random. I think this is like a Brazilian thing. It is a Brazilian thing. Awesome, then. Need to give an update. Oh, they have it on Some... Amazon. Oh, they do. I is it original? So. Yeah. There you go. The first shampoo. I think it's generation three. It's almost seem, it's almost seems too good to be true, right? I know it does seem good to be too <laughs> good too good to be true, but it is true. Yeah. That thing I'll works. show you guys. And she's not the only one that uses our all oh, my nieces in New York uses it. Milena did it. Yeah. It's it just works. It's just yeah. a good it's, product. It's but like I said, it must have some chemical strong I mean, it chemical is, it is there very strong chemicals that's why i don't want to use it but Definitely. it works if you have a healthy hair this is like taking me back to when the first time i did it <laughs> just giving a deja vu there okay good job nana mm -hmm. be careful let me know if you need help okay, okay. 
So Melly and I are gonna try something different for dinner tonight. Melanie is very adventurous with food, so and she loves Indian food. So we're gonna try to make our own version of the chicken masala. So over here, I have chicken breast, and I put cinnamon, cumin, garlic, onions, pepper, ground pepper, salt, and curry, and a little bit of olive oil. Um, so I'm marinating this. Very soon we're gonna try to make it. And instead of using cream, because now I learned that I'm allergic to dairy, I'm gonna try to use the unsweetened almond yogurt. <laughs> Thank you. So, since this has no like sweet taste, I think it will be the perfect taming of the hotness of the, you know, the chicken. And um, I think it will be a great substitute. So, it will be an, ex an experiment. Hopefully, you know, it will be good. We'll see. Okay, with the chicken, I'm gonna roast some broccoli on the oven. So, I'm gonna use exactly the same seasoning that I used for um, the chicken. Yum. Okay, now I'm gonna start with my attempt to the dairy-free chicken masala. Wish me luck. So I'm gonna put some olive oil here and I'm gonna start by cooking the chicken. I'm gonna leave it here for about three minutes and then I'm gonna turn and let it cook three minutes three minutes more on the other side. Okay, at this point now I'm gonna put some uh, crushed tomato sauce and then I'm gonna use the same seasoning that I used to um, season the chicken. So the chicken is gonna finish cooking in the sauce, but I need to pour more flavor in the sauce. So like I said, I'm gonna use the same seasoning that I use in the chicken. So some cumin, some curry, some cinnamon. I'm gonna let the chicken finish cooking the sauce before I add the cream, which will be the yogurt. A little bit of water. Okay, it's gonna take about 10 minutes now to finish cooking the chicken. Okay, in about 10 minutes, the chicken is all cooked. The, usually this dish, uh, people eat with um, rice. Um, I made the broccoli that you saw, but I'm gonna make some um, orzo pasta to substitute the rice because I'm allergic to rice. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, now the moment of truth. I have unsweetened almond yogurt, and I also have the unsweetened coconut yogurt. Two tablespoons of this and then one of this. Try to see if I need more. Okay, I'm gonna start with two tablespoons. Mix it and see. Let me try. Mm, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna also put one tablespoon of the coconut yogurt. Just to see. You know what? This is very good. It's very tasty. Mmm, I love it. Quick hair update. Pin straight. So it looks so beautiful. I did the clarifying shampoo and then towel dry and then add the keratin shampoo and then left it in for an hour and then rinse that out 
put a hair mask in the shower for a little bit so it's not too ratchet and then blow dry completely and then straighten tiny pieces eight times and here we are that's why I had to cook by myself and it's shipped off all of my black hair dye that's why my hair is brown now I, I love this color Better than um, I made a little reels on my Instagram to explain everything and I And I put the shampoo there, so uh, check out my Instagram if you want to see like a laid out instruction manual for the keratin hair treatment. Awesome. At Melanie Mandeli. Can we have dinner now? Like I said, I made orzo, orzo pasta because I can't eat rice. The chicken Ooh. is dead and I put some green onions and this goes on top. Okay, everyone didn't forget the brownie. I mean, almost did. Mm. Mm. Look at this. So good. Mm. Hello! <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the vlog today. <laughs> we are doing a puzzle now. This is what it looks like. Can you guess what it is? This is the Garden of Eden. That's Adam and Eve living and thriving before they ruined everything. 